I'm not gay myself, nor am I bisexual, but you don't have to understand that to get the significance of what just happened in the United States. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, gay marriage was just made legal nationwide. I don't know the exact details and specifics of it, so we'll be looking this up later on, but this is a massive progressive step forward for the United States, and not just us as a country, but us as a species, us as us as, us as a general whole, humanity as a whole moving forward today, making gay marriage legal across the nation of the U.S. To be honest, man, it's a big, big move. And I know there's a lot of people that are opinionated about the whole thing. I know that in an earlier video, I expressed my thoughts on it. And I was a bit rigid when it came to judging the other side of things. Like I said, people that didn't support gay marriage are closed-minded and whatnot. And I want to apologize if I offended anybody. I still feel that way, but I shouldn't have presented it in that format. I feel like that was extremely rude. Very, very, um, un I, it showed that I didn't really have tolerance. And I do have tolerance. You know, I can understand why people have opinions about certain things but when it comes to equality i just take a very strong stance behind that but the united states now showing an amazing leap forward man like this is something that a lot of people didn't really think the united states would ever come to a consensus to so quickly considering the amount of people that live in the u.s that have more conservative mindsets you know what i mean here in the united states if you don't know if you live in another country in the southern parts of the united states and in other in the entire united states there's people that just feel like a certain group doesn't deserve the same rights as another based on something like sexual preference. And it's there, it's prevalent. It's definitely there, it exists, it's in our language, the way we talk to each other, that gays, lesbians, and, and other people that have differing sexual preferences are discriminated against to an extent. And it's, it, it, it exists, it does exist, you know? In, in these more modern times, it's not anywhere near as acceptable as it was to bash someone for it, you know, years back, but it still does exist there. So this was something that many people didn't think would happen anytime soon, but it did. Let's look into some more details behind this, because if we just search up gay marriage right now, we'll see a slew of articles that are talking about how it came to be. If you turn on the TV right now, that's all they're talking about on the news and whatnot. It's big stuff. So we're going to search gay marriage. It was legal in like one or two states, I believe. I don't know this for a fact. I should know this, but I don't. My life is consumed by YouTube right now. I apologize in advance if I come off sounding like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about in this video, but it's tough for me to maintain and keep up on all the facts when it's not the main focus of what I do. As you guys can see here on Google, even they celebrating the whole thing by giving the, um, well, it's not the home page, but when you go to the search results, you can see right here they have a unity, like kind of like like well, what is what do you call that? Like a, well, their header basically has changed to one to show um, unity, humanity standing together, and it, it's a really nice move to see. You know, like I said, this is a big step forward for equality. People who aren't discriminated against due to their sexual preference, their ethnicity, their skin tone, etc., etc. And you know, when you see something like this, you just can't help but think back to the days where people were discriminated against for many other things. You know, it, it's kind of some severe stuff. Um, let's see. So, U.S. Supreme Court rules gay marriage is legal nationwide. BBC News, Big Black Clock News, these guys, you know. Very prestigious news source. Um, let's see exactly what the details are here. It's probably going to be a really long article. So, the United States Supreme Court has ruled that same-sex marriage is a legal right across the United States. And in a historic 5-4 decision, Justice Anthony Kennedy, writing for the um, majority, ruled that marriage is a constitutional right for all. No union is more profound than marriage, he wrote, backed by the court's four more liberal justices. And, you know, there's... Oh, I'm sorry. We have to... Um, get this on the screen I, I always forget about that but there's just so many there's just so many benefits as well that come with a couple being married things in the legal sense of stuff you know like things that they can apply for benefits that they can receive that come with the title of being married to somebody else and gay people not being able to access that was definitely discrimination to an extent and I'm glad the US wised up you know um, let me see here like one thing that happens when I do my videos is that I go on such a tirade and things kind of roll out in my head so fast that I forget how to reference other things that I want to, you know? Like, it's something that you won't be able to understand unless you do commentary yourself, especially commentary off the top of your brain. I don't have a script. I'm just talking here out my ass. 
but um, a lot of you guys do enjoy it. But sometimes I forget the name of um, other events, other things, and it just happens when you think off the top like that. Like right now, I'm just literally thinking this like as we go. But um, I just remembered it. The Civil Rights Movement, Like this is something that I wanted to reference from back in the day, which really shows how the U.S. has stepped forward. But then again, considering, I, I don't think humanity is on its way to its destruction. I did before. I was a real pessimist before, but I mean, I feel that humanity definitely has its golden shining moments and this is definitely one of them man there's so many benefits here for so many parties um it's unclear how soon marriage licenses will be issued in states where gay unions were previously prohibited before the ruling on thursday gay couples could marry in 37 states in addition to washington dc so i correct myself on that previous statement of saying it was only a few states 37 states had already permitted um gay marriage so you know people were already on the right track as it is and now the entire nation is down with it so this is really good stuff loud cheers erupted outside the court after the ruling was announced saying um said the bbc's paul blake at the supreme court Scores of people had camped out for hours waiting the news. One of the demonstrators, Jordan Monaghan, um, called, Monaghan, called his mother from his mobile phone amid the celebrations. Hey mom, I'm at the Supreme Court. Your son can have a husband now, Mr. Monaghan said. So it's, it's beautiful on all levels. On so many levels, this is a great move. So many. It's so difficult to kind of like put them all into context here in this short video. But there's so many steps forward that have been made by us. And it's it's really admirable. Like I said, many people thought this wouldn't be something that would be seen nationwide. First, you know, you had a couple of other places doing it. And then Ireland did it, which was a huge surprise considering the extreme religious rigidity of that nation. And now we have the United States fully on board, making rights equal to many people when it comes to their sexual preference or whatever. This is is so amazing and I'm just looking forward to seeing the future progressive steps that'll be taken by us as a species. Humanity, we've fucked up in many ways, but we got some silver lining to us, man. And this is part of that. This is very this is very awe inspiring to see, you know? I'm I'm very motivated by seeing this because now equality like this being achieved so early, I suppose, in human history. I mean, well it's not early, but Equalities like this mean so much for everyone. And you may not see it yourself. Maybe you don't support gay marriage and you're upset behind this thing being approved. Maybe you're a very maybe you're a very um avid follower of religious text and you feel like this is not something that should be that should be done in the United States. Maybe you feel like marriage is a is a sacred commitment where, you know, people shouldn't be able to experience it if they don't believe in A, B, and C. But I guess I guess for people like that, it'll be difficult to convince them otherwise. You know how people are, man. They want to believe what they want to believe and not necessarily in something that means the advancement of an entire species, of an, of an entire race. But I mean, it's it, I guess it's something that we'll have to see the immediate effects over time. Over time, we'll see the benefits of this right away. You'll definitely have some outcries. You'll have people that are upset behind this. But one thing that I've seen is that even though a progressive, um, very positive move could be made at a time where people don't really accept it all across the board, you know, with enough years going by, eventually people will get accustomed to it and it'll start to really shine in terms of the way that it benefited us, you know? It will. It definitely will. So many people hated the fact that African Americans were able to have free rights to vote and um, not only that, but equal rights to any other person in the United States. And, you know, I don't mean to bring up the race card once again, but these are events that did happen. And the civil rights movement was not that long ago, to be honest with you. I mean, it, I mean, especially when you consider that, you know, like, what was that, like 1960s, 50s, 40s? You know, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like, hey, you know, this is a really nice progressive step forward. Like I've said a million times in this video, especially when you compare it to those actions that were done back in the day. And, you know, like... It doesn't take a rocket scientist now to realize that everyone is kind of equal, you know? I mean, and if you do meet somebody that is an asshole, you don't judge an entire demographic based on that one person. I see so many people that kind of like say, oh, I hate all African Americans or I hate all gays because of one experience that happened with them before, that they ran into somebody with a bad experience, or some other reason, but it usually attributes to the individual themselves in question or maybe the culture of the group of those individuals in that area in question. Not all people are the same. And the sooner that we learn as a nation not to judge a whole group based on the actions of a few, the better off we'll be in the long run. 
because being honest with you guys, that's what's holding us back right now. The fact that we're so judgmental on people, we don't have the knowledge to understand that it's the culture of an area that influences the way that a group may behave, or that everyone is an individual in themselves. You don't go around judging a whole group based on the actions of one. And I feel like this is something that I try to keep in my mind all the time, and sure, I guess sometimes it can be easy to forget, especially when a wrong is done against you by somebody. And I feel like there's been a lot of people out there that have had wrongs done by them, by and by by someone, and then just judge the whole group. I mean, we see this all the time: white, black, gay, straight. You know, those groups have committed such atrocities to each other, but not as a group, but as the individuals themselves, maybe claiming to be part of the group. But in reality, the group is so much larger, so much, so, so much, so much. The scope is so much wider than what people say it is, you know? There's so many people that can be in, in part of a group, and you, can you even call them a group per se? I mean, because everyone's an individual. There's so many different ways that people behave in so many different regions of the world. It's so difficult to say that a whole group can do one thing guaranteed all the time. It is. I really hope that you guys take that from this video. I know I'm not some kind of philosopher or whatever, but I just hope to be able to, to show you that the actions of a few do not influence the behavior of many. That's, uh, well, in terms of at least preferences, race, ethnicity, skin tone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, either way, I'm kind of like diverging off the, co the topic. Congratulations to all the gay, lesbian, and um, bisexual, and any other group out there, whatever preference you're into, man. I congratulate you because now you can have the same rights with your lover, with somebody that you've been with reliably as anyone else. There are bad marriages out there. But that doesn't mean that we can totally block off access to the to the pact itself just based on who you want to fuck. I mean, that's the only thing that I can leave you with, man. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Very historic day. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn.